every, every it was a funny point you, you you mentioned there. Something I was going to bring up. Every ancient mm. culture, every ancient society seems mm. to have this connection with some sort of psychedelic, whether it be mushrooms over in South America or mm. be a part of a tree in South America. Here, I think in Australia, was uh, the Aboriginal people used. I think it was the wattle mm. uh, tree. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. It's something I read a long time ago, but. Everyone sort of had this weird connection mm. where they would have these uh, these rituals where they would delve into other worlds. Yeah. Why do you think people would Why? do that? I mean, again, we just want more. We just yeah. want more. We want to know more. We want to learn more. And so maybe that... But everywhere. I mean, they must have stumbled across it. Yeah. Um, again, all the tools are in nature and it's about working with nature, not against it, which is what sort of, I guess, we're in the space of biotechnology which means, you know, biology and technology and fusing those together. And you can fuse those together and you can create GMO crops, um, which we know is pretty disastrous. It's a small short-term game, but then you need pesticides and you need all of this a whole host of things to keep that moving versus working in harmony with nature in terms of regenerative agriculture or regenerative farming. So I think going back to that piece, I think uh, humans have just naturally been inclined to discover, to want more, and understanding that within those forests, within those savannas, within the Amazon, within all of these areas, there's you know gold and treasure mm. in the form of natural medicine and natural plants and mushrooms and et cetera. And mm. so, some of them so happen to be uh, you know, psychoactive and so they connect you to something beyond yourself. Mm. I'm, I'm fascinated by that. It's something mm. I would... Um, I would like to try mm -hmm. things like, you know, trying to access things through DMT and things like that, but that terrifies me too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like the idea of being uh, out of control or, or having your mind taken over, if you will. It's yeah. something that interests me, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't think I'd ever have the balls to do it. I mean, and absolutely, it's sort of, I think it's something that these shamans, you know, that you hear and read about, you know, they've been trained and uh, they've been doing this for decades and it's been passed down for generations and generations. Mm. It's not a new thing and it's not a buzzy thing that you take uh, when you go to a, a party or you go to Coachella or something. It's not, it wasn't used in those forms. And I think obviously in the 60s and 70s, the cat got out of the bag and everyone was, in the, in the US especially, was using different psycho psychedelics and um, it sort of, you know, I guess, went the other way where it was open sourced and it was a free for all. Um, versus the thousands and thousands of years before then where it was used very traditionally mm. um, and it was you know, used for healing purposes. So there's something there. It is coming back to conversation in the US at the moment is, you know, it's all very much decriminalizing uh, psychedelic mushrooms um, for the treatment of PTSD and depression because as we were talking about with mental health, what do people do? So we sort of suggested some fermented foods and things. But beyond that, what if someone's seriously in a bad way? And at the moment, the, uh, you know, the... SSRIs or the serotonin uptake inhibitors or whatever they are called uh, are not working as well mm. as they could be. I mean, I've had uh, close people to me be on antidepressant medication. You know, I've read all the books. I was still not really able to help them find a way out of it, um, and neither were their psychologists at times. So it is a very much a, a dark area where mm. we need help. And maybe I think those psychedelic mushrooms or other psychedelics in a controlled environment with clinical therapists has a lot of opportunity and that's where things are heading.